Hello everyone, in today's video, we will be breaking down this reel. Marcel Klein is a world-renowned mind control expert and millionaire coach behind 10,000 plus transformations with a global client base and a loyal fan base of 569,000 plus. So let's get started. So I am in my Premiere Pro. I will just bring in a white color mate like this and extend it to the length of our video for now. Now I will just right click again, new item, color mate and I will choose a red color for this and I will just make it and then simply drag it to the timeline so the first animation will be this one so how can we create that i will just select this go to effects control and disable uniform scale and make it like this scale width will be zero and if we move few frames the scale width will come to something like this so this is okay i will just select both and simply just ease in them so this will be our first animation you can simply go here and adjust the graph as well it will be like this simply just bring the keyframes closer if you want to make the animation more faster so and to now we will animate this picture so how can we do that i will just go back to project and for this one we will need this image so i will bring it go to effects control and simply just scale it up to something like this one it will be a bit here as we can see it will be like this so i will just simply just zoom it a bit like that and simply just here now we will animate this i will just add a position and rotation keyframes and move them at last as our final positions and at the start i will bring this down and add a bit of rotation like this so as it moves upward it will rotate so i will bring these keyframes here and now once this is done i will add a rotation keyframe to hold the animation for a few seconds and then it will again rotate it like this so the whole animation will be like this uh, like this like this and you can simply just copy this keyframe and paste it here to make the animation like this one and just increase or decrease the keyframe spacing to make the animation more smoother or faster or slower then i will right click and then simply just ease the whole sequence like this one so this will be our first animation now what i need to do i will just turn it to black and white so how can we do that i will just search for black and black scroll down and i will apply this to the layer so it will be like this and to and for these text you can simply just add these text like here this will be an opacity so and for this one let's create first this and then i will show you these so for this i will just type in our text layer and best make sure to select it and go to text and i will just make a bold font to it this will be cool I will just bring it upwards like this here and once this is done I will just go here and enable the stroke disable the fill and the color of the stroke will be this and if we see a uh, stroke will be white so I will change it back to white like this one and you can see the stroke from it will appear from here like best and if we move and to make the text like this so i will just disable this uniform scale and make the text to something like this and scale um, height will be like here and i will place it make sure the scale width is a bit like here and you can simply just make this scale smaller and i will just make sure to make a copy of it and simply just drag it downwards to make cover frame so this will be our this will be our frame and for this text you can simply use opacity and for these lines how can we create that i will just add a new text layer and add dashes to it and make sure the fill color and the stroke is disabled and the fill color will be black or i can say i will just change it to fill and the color will be this so this is the layer i will just simply go where this animation is like this and i will just scale it down and simply just rotate it like this for example this i will make it to 90 to make it like here and for this this is looking good now i will just 
make sure to place it perfectly like here i will disable the uniform scale uh, and i will add a scale width keyframe move this as our final position and at the start it will be zero so it will be giving us this animation so make sure to just place it here we are out of the frame so like this and you can simply just make a copy of this one and place it to the other side as well so it will be like this like here and for this text you can simply add these one and if we move forward we have this animation so how can we create that i will just cut it here and i will just accept the background make cuts and i will just right click and i will right click on these layers and nest them okay and i will just add a position keyframe move a few frames and simply just drag it out of the frame like this one now if we move forward we will have to be creating this animation so first we will create the whole frame then we will animate it so for this one i will just bring in or i will just select the rectangle tool and make a shape to like this one and i will change its color to red like here it will be placed like here and i will just go to effects control and simply just select the shape and make sure to add a bit roundness to it from here so it will be looking like this and if we see in the video we have these two hands so how can we create that i will just bring in this hand like here and from here i will go to effects and i will search for crop effect and simply just drop it to the layer go to effects control select the crop tool and i will just make the hand disappear like this and for this one i will just place the hand and make sure to add some rotation to it like here this will is looking cool now i will make a copy of it and simply just move it to the other side and i will search for flip and i will just apply horizontal flip and simply just add a bit of rotation and simply just position it to this extent uh, like this is okay now we will add this brain png and animate it so i have this brain png and if we see we have the color of this is black and white and these two so i will search for black and white and i will go and apply it to the hands as well now i will select the brain png go to facts control and simply just place it here and we can't create this easily in premiere pro so i will just animate it from here using the position properties i will add a position keyframe move this as our final position at the start bring it down and i will add a opacity keyframe as well move this as our final position and at the start make it zero so it will be giving us this animation right here i will just select both keyframes and then i will just ease in them make sure to bring it like here and if we move we have this text animation the text will be just there so i will just select a text layer and i will type in mind i will select the text and go here and i will change the font of it i will change it to this go to facts control scale it up and place it like this here like this one this is okay i will just bring it to the this length now what we need to do i will just select all these and i will just nest them like here i forgot to select the other one i will select all nest them and then okay so this will be our two frames what we need to do we do it to animate it so when this moves out of the frame i will bring it here add a position keyframe and a scale keyframe and simply just scale it down from here and position it out of the screen now if we move i will just move here when this disappears and i will bring this back to the my timeline and simply just place it here and increase the scale a bit like here so it will be giving us this animation right here i will just select both keyframes and i will just ease in them make sure to go to here and simply just change the graph to your according to your need like here so this will be our animation from here and if we move forward we have this animation this lines move to us to the other frame 
so how can we create that i will just go here and copy this line and this line is copied so this is already animated i will just make sure to change its rotation so this is like here i will make it to 180 so i will just go back and simply just place it here like this one this is okay from here and we need to move from this frame so what we need to do i will just go anchor point and i will place the anchor point to the start and now i will place this right uh, here and now what we need to do once this is animated this listed sequence i will just make a cut here and select this one disable these keyframes all these and now what i will add a position keyframe here and at the max frame i will just simply first i will be moving this out of the frame like here this will be looking like this and for this line as you can see i will just scale it up and simply just place it here like this so the our animation will be looking like this this moves to the other side i will just make sure the keyframes are broader like this and for this we will create this frame and the line will intersect with this so as our final position i will delete this keyframe and the line will be for example it will be here so that when the line fully animates i will just go here and i will just simply place this line here and when this moves out of the frame i will just simply make the sequence up and this will be down and when this happens the whole frame i will just select the line and just place it again here so this will be our animation and i will just go to scale width and i will just make sure to drop it here and if we move forward we have this animation again so i will just go here and copy this graphic i created and i will paste it paste it here and simply just bring it to our frame like this i will just make it to the middle of the line like here and i will just place the money png to this and simply just go to effects control and scale it down as well like this one and we have this image so i will just bring in this image as well i will just scale it down and place it right here and i will bring these graphics up and the image will be down like this and the image will be black and white so you can use the black and white effect and we have this and we have this animation now so how can we create that i will just delete all these for now and i will just bring in this image to my timeline like here go to facts control and simply just make it here now we if we see the animation this is an opacity animation so how can we create that i will just go here add opacity keyframe make it to zero and then just make it to 100 like this so it will be animated like this and to create these like these circles how can we create that i will just select this rectangle tool and press alt to choose the ellipse tool now i will hold shift and create a circle like this and then i will just simply place it behind the character by here like this now to animate it i will just select the graphic go to anchor point and i will set the anchor point to middle and i will add a scale keyframe this will be our final position at the start it will be zero so once this is the opacity is animated i will just make the graphic there so it will be like this i will just bring the keyframes closer right click and simply just ease in them like this and if we see we have these small circles as well so once this is done i will select them i will first make a copy of it and now i will just select them and i will nest this layer now once, once this is fully animated once this is fully animated i will select it here and add a position keyframe and i will move this here and i will just bring this right here so it will be giving us this animation i will just make sure to change the layer here so it will be giving us this animation you can simply just make these keyframes 
forward once this is done and this will be like this i will select both keyframes and ease in them like here and now i will just bring this copy here and i will disable the scale now i will just make sure to make it smaller and i will place it here and if we see when this frame moves here there will be two graphics first i will just drag it here there will be two graphics so i will just make a copy of it and simply just place them here once they are, they are here i will select one and i will just make sure to change its position and i will just make it like this and i will simply just rotate it a bit now i will go to facts and i will search for blur and i will apply to this go to facts control and simply just make the blur to like this one and you can also copy this gaussian blur and paste it to the other layer as well so once this moves i will just add a position keyframe and a position keyframe here like here and uh, i will just move a few frames this will come here and for this one i will just uh, for this one this comes here and for this uh, it will just come here so this will be our whole animation i will so that's all for today i hope you found this helpful make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one until then take care and bye